Hi, and welcome back. I have my first update for my 9 by New Year's project pan. I've got a lot of progress. I have a lot of progress. This is done. I did not like it. Origins, never a dull moment. Skin brightening face polisher. I wound up using it as an exfoliator for my body in the shower because I did not like putting it on my face. It was just a little bit too gritty. Don't like it. Never again. Never a dull moment. Never an again moment. That one's done. CoverGirl out, outlasts all day. Stay fair. Blah, blah, blah. Can that be any longer? You know what foundation I'm talking about. This was basically brand new. I am down to, I think, like right here. And I'm just, I'm, I can't with it anymore. This used to be such a good foundation. I don't know if my skin changed. Although I just had somebody on Instagram message me and be like, yeah. I think they changed the formula. Um, I can't with it anymore. It doesn't set on my skin right. It doesn't work well with any primer whatsoever. I know it has primer in it. I'm gonna prime my skin. Um, it's like an $8 foundation. I, I used up a third of it. I'm decluttering it. I hate it. Literally, I hate this foundation. And it doesn't last well on my skin. It just looks terrible. Nope. Max Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. Um, I'm done. There's nothing else in there. I had to cut the little mesh part out because it was damn near impossible to get anything out. I use this with a wet beauty blender and on days where I wasn't wearing foundation, I would use just this powder and it was okay. I mean, it doesn't, it made my skin look really, really good in the beginning of the day, but it didn't last very long. Um, it's not something that I would rebuy again, plus it was hella expensive. Another item I used up is a Smashbox Primer Water. This was okay. Um, I think I like my Urban Decay Quick Fix one even more. I don't even, re even remember where I was with this one. I think I was somewhere like right here. Um, it's a primer in water form. It wasn't bad. I... I like the Urban Decay one better. What else did I use? Oh yeah, Too Faced Milkshake Lip Gloss. I am not taking the stopper out of this. I don't care to. It's okay. I mean, it served its purpose of just being a easy peasy lip gloss to wear on the daily. Um, I would not purchase the full size of this. Okay, on to the items that I have a little bit of progress on. My Kittenish Lip Pencil, Chubby Lip Pencil by MAC. Honestly, I lost this for like a week and a half. I thought I had lost this at school. I did not lose it at school. I found it in like the most random spot. So I was really happy that I found it. I'm very excited to get back into this one because it's really just an easy, nice lip product to wear on the daily. The Origins Retexturizing Mask. Um, I don't remember where I was with this product. I don't know where I'm at now. I don't necessarily like it. I don't think it does a whole lot for my skin. I should be done with this by New Year's. There's really not that much left in there. It's okay. I didn't mark any of this stuff. I'm so sorry. Naked Skin. This is the Peach Corrector by Urban Decay. I'm like down to here. I'm gonna mark it if I can find my permanent marker, which I'm always losing. Um, yes, it's a peach corrector. I actually really kind of enjoy this. If I don't use it up, that's okay, but I'm like really close. Real close to being done with it. I use it every day. DTLA, that means downtown LA. For those of you that do not know, this is my ColourPop eye pencil. I have a little bit of progress. I really should have used this more, but I didn't. And the packaging's kind of broken. That's the only thing about these ColourPop liners is um, they're really fragile and they break off in there, so you have to be careful with them. My fast lane eye pencil. This is the darker green one. I think I used one time. So I have like, oh, I've 
very minuscule progress on that one. Really not much at all. It's okay. Yeah, that's my update. Um, look at this. So I had bought the Lila palette by Natasha Denona from Beautylish. And look at what it came wrapped in. How pretty is that paper? This is the ordinary one. I kind of I hang on to these because I'm weird like that. I love Beautylish, if you did not know that. All right, those are the items that I have used up and have left. I only have five products left. This is gonna be like super easy peasy project, which I like. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, night, whatever you are doing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I thought I lost it at school. I did not lose it at school. I found it in a really random spot, so I will, um, I will, I will, I'm really excited to getting, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Like a lot of money for uh, 28, 107 ounce, tw for 0.28 ounces, 8 grams. No. <sighs> CoverGirl, my hair, I have like a peep, there we go. CoverGirl Outlast All Day 3 in 1 Foundation. I was like, practically a brand, I was not a brand new bottle. No, I'm not a bottle of foundation on the daily. Origins Retexturing Mask with Rose Clay. I can't remember where I was. was <laughs> I cannot talk! Let's try that again.